for the following exercises, find the slope of the lines graphed. All right, so here's a graph. We have to find the slope. How do we do that? Well, there could be a couple of ways. I like to use the slope formula to help me figure this one out. So the slope formula down here on the right-hand side says that the slope is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So why don't we write that down? All right, let's write that down. So we're going to have here uh, the slope will be equal to y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. You might know this is like rise over run. I mean, delta y over delta x is a couple of ways, but I like to just memorize it in this uh, form. It helps remind me that I need two points in order to calculate the slope of a linear line. All right. So now basically, that's the key, right? Knowing that I need two points, one point here, and let's say one point here. Okay. So what I got to do, find two points on this line. Okay? It doesn't matter which ones, but you might want to choose ones that are pretty clear as to their value. All right. So why don't we choose, this one looks pretty clear to me. It looks like it's exactly at this point right here. And what I, after you identify the point, I want you to give the coordinates of that point. So what's the x coordinate of this point? Well, zero, right? It's on, when you're looking at the x-axis, it's right at zero. And then what's the y value? Well, the y value is one, right? So that point right here would have a value then of zero comma one. Choose another point now. And this one to me looks like it's pretty much right on the money too. So what's the coordinates there? Well, it's going to be three, three, right? So that's going to be three comma three. Okay. Now it doesn't matter to me which one you choose as your first point, your second point does not matter. Okay. So why don't we call, hmm, why don't we call this one number one, this first point number one, and then we'll call this one number two. All right. So essentially, this value right here would be my x1, and the second one would be the y1, okay? And then over here, this the first one would be my, it's getting a little jumbled here with the numbers, but eh, maybe I'll draw it up at the top. I would be my x2 comma then my y2, okay? Now literally all I have to do is just plug it on in. So why don't we do that? So the slope will equal my y2 value. I define that to be 3. Minus then the y1 value, I define that to be 1. Divided then by x2, I define that to be 3. Minus then the x1 value, I define that to be 0. Doing some math, right? this is going to be 2 over 3, and voila, that's the slope. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. All right, that's all. Now, you, remember, you might also know this as rise over run. So in this particular case, right, it's going to be the rise. So watch, I'm going to go from that point to that point. Rise of two, run of three. You know, there's several ways to do this. You might say, well, that's a lot easier. Yeah, it might be. Um, however, though, this method, you don't need a graph for it all, right? This method, you can just be given, you know, two points there, and you can easily solve them, and you don't have to have a certain picture. It's a little easier, in my opinion, or no, I shouldn't say easier. Uh, this is able to be applied to possibly more questions, I think, a little easier. That's, that's what I should have said. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Pause the video if you want, see if you can figure it out on your own, then check your answer. Ready? So we're going to do slope formula. Excuse me. Yeah, slope formula. y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. Find two points, any two points you like. I like this one. This one looks nice to me, right? This point looks like it has an x value of 0 and a y value of 5. And then I'm also going to choose this one. Similarly, for the same reason, it looks like it has an x value of 4 and a y value of 0. I'll call this one my first point. Okay, so this will be my x1 comma y1. And then I'll call this one my second point, so that's x2 comma y2. Now all i got to do is plug it in. So the slope will be equal to my y2 value. I define that to be 0. My y1 value, I define that to be 5. My x2 value, I define that to be 4. And my x1 value, I define that to be 0. And let's do some math. Negative 5 over 4. And there's the slope, ladies and gentlemen. Now that negative sign comes out of this formula, right? You don't have to necessarily think about it. That's another thing too. If you do like rise over run, you might have to remember that you're really, your run is going to be uh, four here and your rise is a negative, whoops, and your rise will then be a negative five. I don't, you know, with here, I don't even have to think about that. I can just plug in the two points and then the, the, the sign gets spit out, assuming I, you know, uh, did it appropriately, that is. Okay, 
So, voila. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. If this video was helpful, help us out. All right, subscribe. Tell your friends too. If you found this video helpful, your friends might as well. Thank you so much. Take care.